Hey, check it out. We had high tide in Addison, Illinois, Chicago shit. I battle. Everybody make some noise for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Hey, salute to my man, Archie, for putting this shit Facts. together. Speak to him, bro. I appreciate you. Hey, we in front of Sharks Fish and Chicken, and we want to shout them out for sponsoring this. Yeah. Yeah. Said, uh, 15 years in battle rap and to still be a part of it, I'm blessed. I always knew my place, and I've respected the art at every step. I'm not some culture vulture, Assad. Don't start to lump me in with all the rest. I never even had a caffeine account, just so I could log in as a guest, but still, oh. but still. When they talk all-time great, I'm not brought up in the discussion much. It's always he only does the funny stuff. He don't punch enough and such and such. Someone said I had substitute teacher swag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and actually that kind of sums it up because no matter what names they put in front of me I just find a way to fuck them up I'm yeah. 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 but if you know you said <laughs> if you know you know that I've been one of the city's coldest and the yes. fact that we're doing this shit in the barber shop that shit's a bonus because all these flashing lights in the building that just gets me focused but we're not in the venue just so used to being outside, I didn't notice. We. I said I'm a dro I said I'm a drop to ski. This is about this is about to make you obsolete. You see it? You see the end of Boys in the Hood? It's a fade as soon as we cross the street. Bro, let's keep thinking like yeah. daring him to try me. We in front of sharks, and you about to get cut to the white meat. Oh. Oh. I'm Darren Emerson to react quick. It's not the situation you were thought you were walking into. You got catfish. I said I am never I said I am never satisfied by my last shit. I just I said I came out to Addison once again to give high tide a classic. And after this I'm off to Gibson's for a strip and a fine wine to match it. I mean, hey. if, I can, if I could even get there, you know, with all the I-90 traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I know that seemed random as fuck. Stop assuming. You say an I-90 traffic. After this, the Kennedy will not be moving, bro. Oh. Oh. Go! Wow. I say, you took forever to get here because you were relaxing in the car cruising just for me to put in this work in front of sharks. I'm Mark Cuban, bro. I'm so oh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Yeah. I say you, are you a filmmaker? I respect it, bro. Man's is a professional. They got the best director versus the best writer. Y'all about to get a show. I said I was stressing though. Lexapros, shit got me in Netflix mode. Cause soon as the credits rolled, I was starting another episode. I said your head explodes. Mm, yeah. Sound like opening up the crescent rolls. I crashed as soon as you crash. <laughs> I said, go. I said, your head explodes. Uh -huh. Sound like opening up the crescent roll. As soon as you slide out, I said, as soon as you crash out, I slide on the side. I'm in the exit row. Bro, I, I said, this is why you shouldn't freestyle that much. Oh, man. Exit <laughs> 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 uh, row, straight. The next setup was straight to it, but I didn't get straight to it. I said, we in the exit row, straight to it. Little cameraman's about to get his day ruined. I'm in a different bag these days, EK, but he can play stupid. I said, I tried to watch your shit on caffeine, and I couldn't stay awake through it. I almost came with mixtape verses, and I don't even make music. Emerson Kennedy. <laughs> Emerson Kennedy. He is so fucking ready to lecture me. Extra, extra pretentiously. Ooh, I rap about investing in equity. Shut up! <laughs> I don't give a shit if he's conscious. You give me gems, I'll put them shits in the infinity gauntlet. I'll hit up your, I'll hit, I said, I'll hit up your wifey that you used to do those video blogs with and fly out the white girl from the gray area on some Wizard of Oz shit, homie, mission accomplished. They saying, take it easy. Like, you gonna battle in Washington, fly here the same day and beat me? You trying to make history? I'm trying, I'm trying to make it repeat take my shot at Kennedy as soon as he gets off his plane from D.C. We'll shut the venue down. I'm about to make his career stop. Don't matter if he's Kennedy or Trump, I'm hitting everything in earshot. Oh! 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 Don't worry. This shit's a little old-fashioned. These bitches never know how to get rid of me like close cash. In order to keep these battles interesting, I had to make them challenging. Facts. Okay. 
So I got rid of name flips. Uh huh. All the same shit of how these other rappers battling. Okay. I barely metaphor. No angle. Sometimes I'm not even attacking them. Word. And what I found is, well, I've been losing. <laughs> <laughs> but the love been reestablishing. Right. But I'm selfish with my patents then. And y'all paid y'all bills to see a show, and I love the go. So I want to make y'all a deal. If I say what y'all feel and give you shit that you preferred now, I'll wrap a classic two rounds if you let me experiment in the third round. Do we have a deal? We got yes, a deal. Yeah. Let's Talking talk shit. about now. Let's talk about sound and how he walks around town. They say XQZ means excuse. Don't cop out now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to break a promise in that intro. I guess we both had to drop our vows. Let it Come ring. Ah. Let it ring. Ah. For the grown folks. Y'all love him because he told jokes? If I do, then I'm lazy and it's crazy as your own folks. His standard is some broke jokes. My standard is the pole vaults. It's windy at Soldier Field, but goddamn, y'all move the gold posts. Ah. 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 But damn, y'all move the goalposts. Kick it with the joking, bro. Jewish jokes, my nose will grow. It's low-hanging fruit used to recruit on this broken road. Here's the thing I hope you know. Uh -huh. I can make this joke for joke, but it becomes less funny when it's all you do, and then your growth is slow. It's different why I headline, and you just rhyme and go for broke. They book me for the same reason they go to the Met Gala. Close the show. 40 on an open road. 40 on an open road. Uh -huh. I'm 40 on an open road. Go. Hey, close the show. 40 on the open road. Your drive is barely having some. Uh -huh. Sarcastic puns that match the runs. I mean, have your fun, but have you won? Your bars are Laffy Taffy rappers, bitch, and not the classic ones. Oh, <laughs> the only dad joke I knew was the concept of half it one. 40 on the But hell, I think my past is done. I gotta stop, bro, sure. You don't like those past dad raps, but it's not your hood. The bro OD'd on bad Molly and it's not going good. Lex asked me to take X, I had to knock on wood. This is showtime. Oh, this is showtime at Apollo. We boo all of your concepts. But do that thing where you take a previous line off rap, then you add your own context. Super original idea. I'm telling you the guy's best. Until you realize his wife less of him now sounds just like a complex. Hold on. Cue the violent players. It's not really quite my nature. But maybe you should have listened to her instead of your ops and try to fake this violent nature. You said you're hard to get rid of like closed captions. I'm willing to make a silent wager. You can't be that hard to get rid of if she did it by filing papers. Where's the hold on? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That was crazy. Damn. 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 Where's the joke about Salt Lakers? I love one of those punchlines. I grew up in Utah, white folks are probably in a drum line, Mormons and polygamists, and we don't have a fun time. You only mad at polygamists because you couldn't get it right one time. Nigga, who the? Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. So Talk that monogamous shit. shit. Sharks, we don't have a fun time. Uh, shit. Sharks, we don't have a fun time. Brad. <laughs> yeah. So you did this super random bit in your recent match with Sick where you announced to the crowd that you wrote your whole second round on an acid trip. And during the trip, you confront your insecurities about your status in this battleship. Mm. I've never tried acid, but you sound really fucking bad at it. Like most, <laughs> <laughs> like, most people do acid and just realize that we're all just specks of stardust. Emerson did acid and realize that he needs to step his bars up. Like he's talking about, he's, he's talking about, uh, I get overlooked because I don't use name flips or talk about the guns I've drawn. And it's like the fans forget about me once some new talent comes along. I mean, you might've taken acid, but it sounds like it wasn't strong because you're not supposed to get high and immediately realize your buzz is gone. The fuck is wrong? <laughs> he, he wrote a whole, he wrote a whole round on hallucinogens. He is so different. You could have wrote this shit on mushrooms, Adderall, or Coke binges. LSD or ecstasy. Either way, you get your soul lifted. But LSD Damn. expands your mind. X will put a hole in it, bro. I'm Whoa. Whoa. It's always oh these. God. It's always these tortured artists that act like they're on some higher consciousness. Like. They're not secret narcissists. They need us to acknowledge all their accomplishments, like every fucking battle. Uh -huh. I get exhausted just from watching it. Like, if it wasn't for me, Utah battle rap would not exist. Yeah, God forbid. <laughs> <laughs> he bragged about having five LLCs, like he went through unimaginable lengths to get them. 
They're like a hundred dollars, and the application actually takes a second. But fans buy into this. <laughs> but fans buy into his entrepreneur bullshit. Like that was a safe investment, and he's just hoping maybe with enough capital, gain momentum. So you live in comfortable now. Got some luxury house, new job at TikTok, ready to flood your account. As soon as your health insurance kicks in, you're getting punched in the mouth. So hard it knocks you and your whole deductible out. All these fake ah, deep, ah, all these fake deep rags to riches stories and all the, all the obstacles he conquered. You ever gone from living in a trash can to getting invited to the Oscars? Fucking, fucking, <laughs> fucking, fucking preachy Gotti over here. It's like every, it's like every bar is a true thinker. Told someone I'm Stephen Hawkins. I, Walk it like I talk it. That means you do neither. It's helpless. I ain't buying. Helpless. I ain't buying the bullshit he's selling me. And to prove how easy it is, during his round, I'm setting up my LLC. Round two. <laughs>
<laughs> Amazing. Like you, you say you're retiring every battle and pop up on another 20 cards, right? I mean, I understand the cost of living has had an extra sharp spike, but if you're going to retire, just retire. He's the attention-starved type. He's just dragging out this goodbye longer than semi-charm life. And you want to talk about how ah, Utah's got... Cut it through, and, you want to, like and you want to talk about how Utah's got these dangerous blocks. And I'm not saying that that's a situation to mock, but I see you booking yourself against these legends, and it's painful to watch because it just illustrates the difference in the way that we rock. Because ask any league owner. I have never paid for a shot. I've never tried to leech off a bigger name to get hot. So maybe Utah's not all ski trips and vacationing spots, but you still had to resort to paying your way to the top. Bro, it's a true lane. I give a fuck. I give a fuck he's battled with some huge names. I saw Utah's best lose to Real Sick, and I had flashbacks of the flu game. The biggest thing to come out of Utah, I said the biggest thing to come out of Utah was a team that lost. Because every time they ran into Chicago, their season stopped. Y'all left Kerr, y'all left Kerr wide open for that series winner when he beat the clock. You want Utah to succeed? Next time, don't get Steve the shot. It's the monotone. Go! Go! In case they told you differently, I'm on my Amazon Prime. Still fly with this drone delivery. I gave y'all the first two. Yep, you did. Took you on all kinds of trips. Oh yeah. This line's to quit. I'm tired of it. Now allow me to try and try some shit. I've always wanted to try to punch line without saying the actual word I'm rhyming with. Just use a frame of reference and let the audience try to find this shit. It's really hard and higher risk. But I experiment as an optimist. And when I don't give a fuck about it, my opponent, I'm like, what's a better time than this? So now is the unveil. So now is the unveil. How are you proud to be this frail? What if we actually had to stop joking and this clown would be in hell? What if you actually had to prove all the lies you're proud to sell? And I gave you the exact thing of just how they read in Braille. That's a bump. Did you catch it? <laughs> Don't tell me Steve will sell. When they pay you in the same way Hansel and Gretel leave a trail, am I cooking or is the bar gone? Your conclusion's all been far gone. It's part of me for danger, but a stranger can get marked on. I rap from the heart and you joke because your heart gone. I rioted on the same terrain my ancestors were marshaled. Fuck it. Bippers with the car alarms. You drive into a campfire. I just set up camp and had to vamp to bring my camp higher. I seen my bro stab in the wound. I pushed my hand tighter. You ever seen your blood's blood on a Wesley Snipes vampire? Family guy's a quagmire. The gigs to keep them out. I do the silent style too, but sometimes they need it loud. That's why the crowd gets disinterested by the time you get to deeper rounds. You know when she said yes to your proposal? That's what you don't keep the crowd. Let it ring. No, scratch that. I'm not promoting the violence. I said scratch that. I'm not promoting the violence. I do this soft, sarcastic styles really just showing your mileage. And the crowd gonna be quiet at his funeral when your folks give deposits. Cause you know what the crowd gonna give you then? A um, moment, moment of silence. silence. <laughs> You're more tree bark than bite. <laughs> you ran into a have not. No trap spots, gas clock, but I just the facts rock. I got no discrimination for Jews. I fought all whites in different back blocks. Battle international, even British in a bath shop. Fought with the fucking French, even Germans in the cash knot. All last year, I was Notre Dame mascot. Y'all even haven't caught one yet. <sighs> they haven't caught none of those. <laughs> These are gems I am giving you. Know what you listen to. I battle, thank you. Today's the last time you might have witnessed a miracle. Thank Make you. Make some noise! Yeah. Lucas Sharks, I battle TV. Make some more fucking noise for Archie to put this shit together, bro. Yeah! That's the beat like the captain. We out.